Time switch. In today's video, then we're going to be looking at the horse to print VMK seven D SRS. We've already covered the seven SRS, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the seven D SRS and how it differs from the average everyday run of the mill widely available. 7SRS. This one it switches on and off rather much like the standard one. It does rate change trigger like the standard one but it also does one other extra little uh, well not bonus feature but it's something which has been specified by an electricity board at some point in time and it's then been manufactured accordingly as per the requirements of the electricity board. So what we've got there then is the VMK 7D SRS 200 to 250 volts with 50 Hertz alternation frequency which is very important for the synchro motor in order to make it run at the correct speed. The main switching capacity on that is 80 amps Okay, it's eight zero amps, and at two hundred and forty volts, that is equivalent to nineteen thousand two hundred watts. The auxiliary circuit, which will be for the rate change trigger, is two amps, and the auxiliary circuit would be the rate change trigger for a dual tariff electricity meter, like say for example, uh, Sangamo Western S three hundred nine point two, uh, Landis and Guy. CL147HD uh, GCC11B2 dash R uh, and Sangamo Schlumberger SBAO2. Other dual rate electricity meters are available, of course. Now, how this one differs from a standard 7SRS is all to do with the clock face that is mounted upon it. Let me tilt that up a bit. There it is then. Now the colour of the clock face really hasn't got much to do with it. Okay, it's what's surrounding the clock face. Okay, you could have uh, a white clock face with black numbers on it. Uh, but this one, it's the one of the older ones for some unknown reason. And it's a black clock face with, although it looks white, they are actually silver numbers on there, and they are slightly raised as well. Now you can see already uh, the difference between this, what this one and a standard 7SRS. And just above the clock face inside there, you can see uh, what I'm going to be naming as a little bridge. Okay. So you can see it in there, it's attached to the clock face and it rotates around with the clock face. And there we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out now and open up the front case so that we can observe the differences between a 7D SRS and a standard 7 SRS. Because right next to it there on the board is a standard 7 SRS. And there we go. So we got the front cases open then. And if we zoom in on a 7D SRS, we shall have a look at that little bridge that I was talking about, which is mounted to the clock face. There it is then. You can see it's attached to the clock face there. And what that does is when it comes around, there's a little micro switch just there inside that little device with the two screws upon it. Just to the side of the bridge there, we've got an off tog. That turns the uh, time switch off when it goes around to the bottom. Now then, 
at the bottom we've got the on tog there it is and you can also see that there is another little tog there and it says aux on wrote on it and there's a little indent inside that now that aux on is in reference to that bridge which is up the top when you set that aux on tab to a particular time on that clock face that then determines when the bridge interacts with that little micro switch what this allows the electricity board to do in reference to setting a tariff is to give a certain amount of time before the off-peak load turns on so say for example you could have seven off-peak hours but you'd only get six hours of off-peak electricity okay it's one of the things that were specified by uh, the electricity boards so horsemen went and manufactured it and so what this does it actually allows uh, the off-peak tariff on a dual rate electricity meter to activate some time before the main electrical loads do like storage heaters and the motion heaters for example okay so it can be considered a little bonus top up okay uh, I don't think I've ever changed the times on this one and so as such the on operation on this is around about half past 11 at night you can see the on tog there okay with that little red marker on it that's the on tog and I think that turns on around about half past 11 at night and the off tog is up the top there and there you go it turns off around about quarter past seven or half past seven in the morning I think that's aiming for quarter past seven so there's our time indicator down the bottom then that spike sticking up towards the clock face and you can see that it's pointing up towards nine so that would be nine o'clock at night and then at around about I would say quarter to eleven when the clock face rotates that bridge there will interact with that micro switch you can see the little orange tab on the micro switch just there and that bridge will press that in and activate the off-peak tariff on a dual rate electricity meter uh, sometime before the off-peak load actually operates okay and then sometime after it's done that the on tog will pull the time switch and the off peak loads will energize. To the left, then we've got just a standard VMK7 SRS, and as you can see, that one does not have the bridge or the added on micro switch. Even though this one has got a green specification plate with silver writing that doesn't indicate whether or not it's a 7d srs okay the coloring of the specification plates has nothing to do with uh, denoting a special type of time switch because i have seen run of the mill 7 srs time switches that have the white specification plates with black writing on it So there we are, that is then the Horseman 7D SRS and how it differs from a standard 7 SRS. It's all to do with that little bridge which is on the time switch face there, the, the clock face. And it comes around and interacts with that added on micro switch and therefore can be set up in such a fashion that it operates certain amount of hours before the off-peak loads turn on similarly what could be done with that is to set it in such a position that after 
uh, the off-peak loads have turned off, you could, if you was, uh, if you knew how to do it, you could actually extend the off-peak hours so that after the off-peak loads have turned off, you've still got the off-peak tariff on the electricity meter activated for a short while afterwards. As far as I know, each clock face can only have one bridge fitted to it. This is the only one I've ever seen, and I've seen many other VMK7 time switches, and I own a few of those, but this is the only 7D SRS that I own, and as such is a unique one in my collection. Just like a standard 7 SRS, it does have the square shank in the middle of the clock face of widening up the spring reserve. This one was in service back in 1985, as denoted by that uh, little label that's been stuck on the front of there. I'm sorry about that camera tripod. Right, there it is then. 185 it says on it. And as such is when it was last uh, tested out. Hope you enjoyed watching that one. And that was just to identify the differences between a Horseman 7D SRS and a standard one of the mill widely available 7 SRS. There will be more time switches later on on this channel and I'd like to say thanks for watching.